Hi, I'm Nashlin, and thank you for watching ilearntoanimate.com. Today we're going to do some modeling based on the previous video I've created. This is the Iron Man reference I've created, and um, you can get a rough shape to appear to, uh, using the reference images, right? And what we're going to do over here is called a low poly modeling. This is not the final stage, but just to have a glimpse of how you can actually get the shape out using low poly modeling. So let's get started. To start, what you can do is you can click on the uh, plane. Okay, you can select by polygon plane. Okay, to create a plane first. Okay, and Okay, so I'm going to just pull this down and on the poly planes, you can just scroll down and there's a attribute where you can actually select subdivision and height width and height. Okay, so I'm going to increase this. How can you increase this? You can increase it by using the numbers, manually keying in your numbers. What is the appropriate way to decide on how many segments I need? When we are going to do low poly modeling, we should try to get the lowest amount of polygons to create the roundness of the cur the curviness of the model. Okay. Now, why do I use low poly modeling? Low poly modeling is because it is easy to manage. So I'm going to start with vertex, and you can see that the uh, the vertex has appeared, and um, and I am going to sculpt this just by using the simple three um, three tools that I have move rotate and scale okay I do not try to try to make things complicated using different tools because I think this is the easiest way okay so I'm gonna sculpt so how do I sculpt with this I start with selecting marquee select the polygons I need and then I will just scale them to an appropriate width uh, for this, okay, you can see that over here there are two segments. Don't worry, later on we can chip this off. Half of this. Imagine okay. so. With that in mind, I'm gonna click on this extra tool, and easiest way is I can just pull this out. Okay, pull this out, so you can have a look at this. Okay, and if you actually need to view it in different dimension, it'd be like this. Now, um, I'm not going. I'm not planning to actually pull out too much. Okay, so object mode. Just take a rough look at this with wireframe. You can see that the edges are all much defined now. So there you are, you have your Iron Man uh, chest plate.